Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Western Family Spring Water. Next up is Strathmore Sparkling Spring Water. So, normally when I do a comparison video, I try to find two waters that have something in common. These two are pretty different. They don't have that much in common. The only similarities between these two is that they're both spring waters, and I've also had both of these waters for a long time. Um, I've just been really busy and been delaying reviewing these. I've, I've had both of these bottles for almost a year. I got this Western Family Water on my trip to Utah last summer. Um, it was from the Fresh Market from Park City, Utah. And I don't know, I've just been delaying reviewing it for some reason. I don't know why. So I, for both of these waters, I don't even remember what either of them cost because I got them so long ago. I didn't save the receipt that long. And this Strathmore water, I also got it last summer. Uh, this was from salaciousdrinks.com. I placed an order with Salacious Drinks for a bunch of waters, and, you know, they sent me an email that said, oh, I'm sorry, we don't have this one water you ordered in stock. So they sent me this Strathmore instead, just, you know, as an apology. Um, and this... You know, I checked Salacious Drinks website and they don't even sell this anymore. So I don't know what this cost because I don't have a receipt because it was like a backup water. Um, this is a sparkling water. Normally I don't really like sparkling waters. So this one's probably going to lose tonight out of the comparison. This is probably not going to win. Just spoiler alert. Um, this company Strathmore also has a still version and they have a flavored version. I wish they would have sent me the still version because it would have had just a better chance of winning. But it looks like a cool bottle. Um, I like these patterns on top. Just looks neat. Makes it look fancy and it's got the nice metallic lid on it. And uh, just, you know, good quality. I love uh, glass. Just makes it feel fancier and nicer. So... The Western Family Water is from a, a protected spring in Palmer, California, and it's bottled by Niagara Bottling Company. Niagara Bottling Company has, like, probably over a hundred different brands that they actually bottle um, under. So Niagara does the bottling, and then they put a different label on it for, you know, other companies. This water has a TDS of 45, and... Their website says, our commitment to quality and value begins in the 1930s uh, when a group of retail uh, owners and wholesalers join together to combine their buying power to compete with the growing number of corporate-owned chain stores. So, they sell other Western family products. They have other uh, waters that are also Western family Right, the Strathmore water. The Vale of Strathmore is Scotland's largest underground aquifer, and it's the first stage of Strathmore's journey. Every drop of its water is uniquely pure, fresh, and rich in minerals. We're proud to share it with you. It has calcium, magnesium, sodium, chloride, nitrates, fluoride, and other ingredients in it. It's not ingredients, it's just naturally occurring in their spring in uh in scotland the bottle says to serve it chilled i'm not doing that so sorry strathmore i just never do that for my reviews so maybe it'll not taste as good but i just don't you know don't do my waters chilled for the videos um on their website strathmore is all about you know talking about how they support local sporting teams like sc scottish teams and an interesting thing on the website is there's a link that says uh, on their homepage, it says teams we are proud to support. And then you click on the link and you just get a message that says you are not authorized to access this page, which I just thought was uh, kind of interesting because like, you know, aren't they trying to promote teams that they support? Why am I not allowed to see that page? I think it's just a website error, but I just thought it was kind of funny. It's like right on the home page and they messed it up. All right. Uh, now let's open them up and just do a taste test. This is like, a, you know, a better quality bottle. It's not like the super cheap plastic. It is wobbling around a little bit. 
I kind of, you know, I, I had to transport this by plane to get back to Pittsburgh. Um, so there was like an air pressure change. I wonder if that affected this. I wonder if it was more solid um, when I first bought it. And it's also been, a, you know, almost a year. Anyway, it's got the uh, half size lid, the small one, which I don't think feels as good on the mouth, but the half size lid uses less resources to make. So I guess it's better for the environment. It's like, you know, it saves a tiny, tiny bit of plastic. But when you're talking about millions and hundreds of millions of bottles, that tiny bit of plastic does add up, I guess. Probably cuts costs for them to make it, too. So, oh crap, I just spilled some of it. All right, here we go. a good one kind of getting like a almost like a, like a fruit loop taste to it you know like a box of fruit loops um it sounds so weird for a, a bottle of water but it's kind of the uh, taste i'm getting from it that's a wet water it's not one of the dry waters it's definitely a, a wet one No, no bad plasticky taste. I think it's from the higher you know, thickness of the bottle. Thumbs up so far. Like, I'm liking it. Let's uh, do the Strathmore. Okay, I'm going to get a little paper towel ready. Sometimes sparkling waters like to explode when I open them. On the other hand, this might be really still and flat because I've had it for a year. And, um... It's been transported, you know, around the country. I guess it was transported from Scotland to the United States and then from the south in the United States up to Pittsburgh. Uh, so it's, it may have gone flat just from all that transportation. Oh, no, there's some bubbles. Yeah, it's not flat. That's like a good amount. Like, it's not exploding, but, um... That's, that's really that's very carbonated. Look at all that bubbling. Wow. Still going. No smell. It's a good sign. I'd say that's very bubbly. If you like your sparkling waters to have a lot of bubbles. This is probably a good one for you to check out. Personally, I don't. Uh, I'm not, not a big fan of sparkling waters, but... I do like the taste of this, though. Like, there's no bad plasticky taste to it no that's no, not like a dirty one <laughs> this might be offensive but sometimes the european waters have like a higher tds and they kind of taste like dirt this does not have that this tastes just clean and pure um like i said i'm biased against sparkling waters but for a sparkling water this is getting a thumbs up for sure like, this is like a good one Good clean, good clean taste to it. Feels like a like a Seven Up, but with no sugar in it, sort of. Yeah. Let's uh, finish up the Western family. All right. 
right. So, like I said, I predicted this is going to win. And yes, I'm going to say this is moving on to the next round. The Western family is the better water, in my opinion. And that's what all these reviews are. They're just my opinion on which is better. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me again. So, that's it. Congratulations, Western family. Hey guys, sorry it's been so long since I've done a water review. It just became May, and I haven't done a water review since February of this year. You know, I've been really busy with, um, with work, and, you know, my girlfriend, just take, taking up a lot of my time. Um, in my last water review, I ended the video and went on this long rant about just, like, problems in my life, and just talking about all this random stuff. It's kind of, like, depressing. <laughs> I doubt anybody actually watched it, but, um... I'll give you a couple updates on that. Um, I was talking about money problems in that last review. Um, things are a lot better now. Um, we opened up a few more rooms at the Airbnbs. And they're, they're, they've been making money. I think in February I was like losing money every month. Now I'm making a little bit. so And I'm spending less investing in the new airbnbs because they're they're already done so there's less stuff to buy for them so that's all good i'm uh financially stable again so that's that's a good thing and um you guys have actually been buying sponsored videos which has been helping out um the sponsorships i usually only get four dollars or twelve dollars per sponsorship but it still helps out, and I appreciate you guys doing the sponsorships. I think there's been like five so far. It was my girlfriend's idea to start doing the sponsored videos through Fiverr. And um, I was kind of like, nah, no one's ever going to do that. But there's been five so far, and um, it's not that much money, but it's like a nice little bonus. It's, um, you know, I'm getting something for the for the water videos instead of losing money doing them. Um, so thanks for that. Um, and in that last video, I was talking about, like, having a bunch of back pain, and, um, excuse me, it's, I still have it, I still have some back pain, but it's way better than it was in February. In February, I was taking, like, pain medication every single day, now, it, the back pain kind of comes and goes, um, and it's there less often than it was in February. Um, and I've been going to physical therapy for it and doing their exercises, and I guess it's been helping. Um, and I got a new bed. I don't know if I had this in February or not, but this bed has... Uh, this is, it's a purple bed. Uh, it's definitely better than my old bed. My old bed was a nectar, and uh, it was like a memory foam. I don't know if I talked about this in the last video, but... I would, like, sink down into it and just kind of be stuck there at night. And I think that was causing my back uh, extra pain. And the purple bed has been a lot better. The purple, yeah, they give me this little sample. Um, it's, like a, it's a really cool, like, material. And it's, I like it. Because it's not too firm. It's not too soft. It's just, uh, it's good. It's like, I don't know. You get the idea. You've probably seen ads for it. There's a lot of ads for the purple. Um, so, back's better. And, um, growing up my beard, it's kind of long. Um, on Friday, <laughs> kind of excited for this, I'm going to the barber for first time in my life. Not just to get my beard trimmed, but for, like, my hair, too. I've never been to a barber. My just my I'm, I'm 30 years old. I've never been to a barber in my life. Um cuz when I was a kid uh my parents had like a neighbor who who cut people's hair come to our house and she would give us haircuts as kids. And then um 
I went off to college and, uh, you know, in the summer when I was in college, I would still get haircuts from that lady who came to my parents' house. But then during the school year, I would just shave my head on my own. I just, what I just started doing in college, um, I would just shave my head and shave my face every two months or so and, uh, never paid for a barber. And that's what I did, you know, the past 10 years of, um, I'm kind of a ch cheap person and never, uh, never been to a barber. My, my girlfriend convinced me to go to one, just try it out. They're going to do my uh, side. It's kind, of, it's kind of strange. When I was younger, I had hair on my head. And I never went to a barber. Now I don't have hair on my head and I'm going to one. So I'm kind of like... Shouldn't I get a discount for getting a haircut when I don't have so much hair as most people? But uh, they're going to trim this up. So it might look different on uh, after Friday. And other than that, not much else going on. Um... But what else did I talk about in that other video? I don't even remember. Anyway. Congratulations. Western family. You're moving on to round two. And I'm going to try to do more water reviews. You know, definitely more frequently than every three months. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay hydrated, everyone. Oh yeah, I also wanted to say, I um, was sort of featured on the the Reddit subreddit called Water Niggas. Um, it's a whole subreddit just devoted to people who love water. And I got a lot of like n new subscribers because they had me do an AMA. And I think I gained like a thousand subscribers from that, which was pretty awesome. Like that's... If you look at my, my analytics on YouTube, it's like s flat, kind of like up and down slightly. And then one day it like shoots up just because of like the AMA. Like I got a lot of subscribers from that. So, um, hello, Reddit's water niggas. Um, I'm glad that you guys like water as much as we do. And, um, a few people even started their own water channel because of that AMA. And, um, we're, you know, welcome to, welcome to the YouTube water drinking community. Oh, yeah. And since that, um, mm -hmm. that video in February, I don't know if I talked about this, but we had a bunch of articles written about the water drinkers. Um, Vice did an article, The Times, like a, a few other, it's mainly like people or news places in the UK and um they kind of like some of them focused on Aaron drinks water because he's from the UK but I guess I didn't talk about that in a video but yeah that's cool um when the vice guy did the article he spent like an hour on the phone like no I think it was like 90 minutes on the phone talking to me about water water drinking and um the other water drinkers and you know the community and yeah the, the vice guy, I think, did the best job because he actually he contacted a bunch of water drinkers and spent a lot of time talking to us. And it was like after he talked to me on the phone, it was like a week before the article was done. And it's like a long, pretty detailed, pretty accurate article. Then I think some of the other articles just got their information from the vice article and wrote their own version of it, which kind of feels like cheating, <laughs> but whatever. Um... Anyway, how are you guys doing? How's, how's your life going? Leave a comment um, letting me know something good that's going on in your life. And uh, thanks for watching.